so in this video I'm gonna try to do a coil clean for the um, outdoor uh, compressor uh, right here uh, I have a the Nox I believe this is a four tone um, compressor for the outside and uh, I've just got a quote back from the AC repair company and they want to charge me $850 for a compressor clean because they told me that as you can see all the hairs and whatever is clogging up the coil so without paying $850 I'm just gonna do it myself so the first thing first is you have to have proper screwdriver to remove all the bolts holding on the side of the compressor as well as uh, four bolts holding the top grill for the fan so once you have those removed uh, you can actually pop the fan grill out and if possible carefully remove the fan if not just leave it on the side um, and also with the grills removed be very careful not to damage the coil fin because they are very delicate they're made of aluminum and we're just gonna try our best to have the coil cleaned best I can without having to pay close to a thousand dollars okay okay since I really don't want to remove the fan uh, with a whole bunch of electric wire connection whatever um, I am just going to actually have a thing popped open with a fan grill I mean I can probably custom cut a shape to get it a little bit more up but I think this makeshift actually works okay so um, the remaining task will be uh, removing all the screws expose all the fins we're gonna do another assessment um, if I look inside my compressor it's not terribly bad i have a dry vac some dead geckos inside um we're gonna just vacuum it up and hopefully um push water through from the inside so hopefully it can get some of the um dirt washed away and i'll probably have to go find a coil cleaner of some sort apply it and then um do the clean again but it, from this point on it doesn't seem terribly hard okay and my coil is for the most part in very good condition only some deformed def, deformed area over here um, but nothing nothing too bad so it seems to be manageable so let me go ahead and I'm gonna pop open all the grills and just remember when you pop it open be really careful because the the fin is very very fragile okay how the crap um, this is one side uh, still have two more sides to go but it's actually very very easy to do so again as I said each of my panel is held by only two screws so if I unscrew those two screws I can pop the panel open and take it away safely and easily okay so um, yeah I'm gonna continue I just want to show you guys how horrible the coil looks like showing you all four sides has been removed um, I laid out the panel in the order with the screws right next to them so I don't lose them uh, take a look at the nastiness of the coil oh uh, yeah definitely needs a good clean okay um, and on the back it's worse there's actually a plant that actually uh, somehow got into here and was just leaching onto the dirt it was uh, pretty nasty okay so with this opened again we're gonna pop this open and we are just going to first round use just regular water and a low pressure see what dirt we can get out and again I probably need to make a trip to the um, hardware store to get some coil cleaners and spray it from the inside as well um, but hopefully hopefully that would make this look better all right folks i just went to home depot and got myself some uh, ac coil cleaner foaming cleaner there are two kinds for sale over there one with a little brush and one without the brush we're gonna test both and i'm gonna assume all of those is gonna have very similar performance uh, once applied uh, but i did want to get this one because it's got a little brush so in case there are some area that i need to brush i can just gently brush those fins but again even those I feel like it's kind of too hard for the um, the compressor fins um, to use on the compressor fins 
and what I'm gonna do is shake well I am gonna spray from the inside out now if you are online and you see a lot of videos they do it from the outside it might be okay if it doesn't have so much dirt like mine um, but for mine I definitely think it's probably gonna be best if I do it from inside out um, just so those dirt doesn't get trapped into in between the um, the condenser okay so I'm gonna start and again I'm not gonna show the video because it's pretty straightforward process I am just gonna go ahead and spray and show you guys maybe after I finish spraying and then let you guys know okay and if you guys are wondering um, how many cans do you need I sprayed only one side of through my AC compressor side with that foamy stuff and uh, the foam instantly disappeared it got soaked into the foil um, and I might need to apply more I don't know but as you can see nothing has penetrated from inside out yet I am gonna apply some water uh, just a shower stream hopefully that would clean up some of the grime grime uh, hopefully okay otherwise I might have to apply some more cans of those foamy stuff did those foams work uh, no the inside looks pretty clean I mean it's pretty clean to start with um, but it just made inside looks a lot more cleaner um, that's the area I haven't applied as you can see slightly dirty but not terribly bad but the one that I applied foam on the inside uh, very very clean okay so it did the job of cleaning but it did not do the job of removing those nasty grimes um, on my condenser which is mostly hair uh, that's the first shooting part so I don't know how those hair is supposed to be removed I might have just do it by hand maybe yeah um, all right so this is like a mixed mixture of hair and dirt it's really really nasty um ah god all right guys do not use this brush okay i repeat do not use this brush it's damaged my part of my coil like right away as as soon as i started brushing didn't use much force but the coil is damaged uh, I applied another can to the same side, which is the outside. I'm just gonna let it soak and then again try to rinse it from the inside and then rinse it from the outside. Now this is, this one panel is already costing me $12 of cleaners. Whether it works or not, I do not know. So instead of spraying from the inside, I try to spray from outside as you can see and when I rinse it out from the outside most of the hair is actually gone so that helped a little bit and uh, we're gonna also rinse the main side from the outside again and hopefully remove this nasty hair gunk on the front looks like doing it from the outside actually works a lot better from spraying from inside because for my application the inside is very clean there really isn't much anything to do the outside is actually preventing the inside foam from coming out so doing it directly from the outside actually helped quite a lot in removing most of the gunk and uh, I'm suspecting I might have to apply a few more um, rounds through the foam coil cleaner 
but at least at this moment I think the machine can breathe at least 50 to 60 percent better compared to when it was a 40 claw okay so yeah definitely if you guys have a similar situation consider doing it from outside first and once the outside is mostly clean do it from the inside again uh, do not bump your water hose onto the machine that's what I did damage the area but otherwise um, it actually did the trick again the, the trick is doing it from the outside not inside okay Alright, I'm halfway through, so I am going to recap on what I have figured out is the best way to clean really tough, like hair clogged up um, air compressors. That is, uh, do not spray from the inside. For those kind of, um, those kind of clog up, you definitely want to just spray the foam on top of hair and then let it soak and then spray directly from the outside because the hair once you start rinsing as you see from previous video it actually just rolls, rolls itself up and then falls to the bottom okay so you don't have to really worry about hair get stuck inside and i i really tried to try to spray the foam cleaner from inside it doesn't really work on my ac uh the best way for my particular ac is actually just work from the outside and as you can see it's actually much faster doing it from the outside. Um, the gunk, I just have one more side to clean. Now, people is gonna say, oh, you still have some hairs in here, but let me tell you, compared to this and this, which, which way would you prefer? Like, I would definitely prefer this way, despite the fact it still have some hair stuck inside. I'd probably try to find some other ways to, you know, get it sorted out. And along the way, I actually kind of accidentally damaged a small area right here. But I think there are tools that helps to straighten those fins, uh, which I'm going to get eventually. The biggest hurdle has been done, which is getting the hair out of the fins. And the last side is going to be a little tricky because this is like a very small area, but it's still very doable. I am going to finish the job and I'm going to come back and give you guys a conclusion on what I have learned cleaning my own AC and based on a whole bunch of other videos, YouTube videos that I have, you know, watched which method is the best for this particular situation, which is a AC that haven't been cleaned for eight years. All right, we come to the conclusion part of the AC call your clean for your outdoor AC unit. Uh, my seven year old AC compressor coiled covered with hair and uh, the best way to remove those hair is actually not using any of those foam cleaners okay 
those uh, didn't really make any difference whether I applied them or not and I actually wasted three cans comes to a total of close to $20 um, not necessary unless you have a AC that's just you know slightly dirty you can spray some of those just to make sure you know it keeps in tip-top condition otherwise if you have a hair clog AC um, that foam cleaner just doesn't work just use regular water and I used uh, my spray hose in the let's see. so I used my flat um, setting so it shoots out a kind of like fan-shaped um, uh, jet so in turn I, I don't have it on the full power I pretty much just aim this downwards and just you know start flushing and actually it removed all the nasty gunk super thick hair um, that was previously on my AC as you can see compared to this to before or, or actually put a picture before and after it actually done a fantastic job and uh, took me about one hour for all three sides because you kind of have to be careful you kind of have to pick up all the hairs once they come loose or they get stuck and uh, obviously as you can see it it didn't do a super fantastic job some wet hair is still trapped in here but that's okay most of the hair is gone so it can at, at least breathe I would say 80 90 percent better so make sure make sure you don't waste your money on the foam cleaners just use your spray hose a fan shaped uh, uh, jet shooting downwards at a at an angle like something like that just you know push those dirts from the top to bottom and they're gonna actually eventually just come out from the bottom very very easy they don't really get stuck inside the, the coil at all especially with hair the hair all gets tangled together and they just come out as a whole bunch so we'll let you guys see the back on the back I did not use a cleaner at all I just pretty much sprayed down from the top and again removed all the junk uh, so it's it's pretty much done I need to use my wet vacuum to like <sighs> vacuum the interior but that's pretty much it once I finish vacuuming I'm gonna put the screw on here um, after this I'm gonna cover the outside to protect the coils and it's pretty much done okay I haven't had the need to actually rinse everything from the inside directly doing it outside is the best way for my setup it could be different for your setup but again this is uh, this is how I clean mine and I feel this is the most convenient way it actually saved me a lot of time because um, I've seen YouTube videos that different people do it different ways for those kind of thick hair build up the best way is to do it directly from outside another takeaway is do not brush do not use any kind of brush to brush the coil because the coil at this moment is very fragile uh, I tried to use that little brush provided with a foam cleaner it actually damaged some of my coil that was pretty stupid so don't use any brush just use water fairly low to medium pressure you don't want the strong pressure to kind of damage the, the coil by themselves just be really careful test on a small area first before you apply pressure and rinse down the whole thing okay otherwise um, yeah it's the machines working perfectly now um, hope you guys found this video helpful if you did please do hit the like button or subscribe to my channel and I will have more similar you know home improvement videos coming out for you guys so thanks again see you in the next video take care